this season, including two stage wins at the Tour de France, would suggest a rider pretty close to peak fitness. Matej Mohoric makes Bahrain victorious. But in a sport famously fixated on marginal gains, in an era when data is available more than ever, there's always room for improvement. At least, that's the view of Matej Mohoric and his coaches at Team Bahrain Victorious. So I've come here to their service course in Slovenia to see how they are using their winter off-season to look for ways how to improve Matej's performance heading into 2022. Down there. Now let's go. Cycling, it always looks like it's all numbers driven. But as I still believe, and I know there's much more behind it. It's yeah, it's still an art. It's still an art to understand uh, what things works for you, what doesn't. It's not all about the numbers. You need to know how much trust you can give to the numbers. I think I was uh, always interested into the performance part of cycling. Um, so the knowledge is widely available and everyone now can, uh, can see what, what works theoretically and uh, the development is so much faster and, and better with all the materials and uh, the training methods and the nutrition. It's also changed the, the racing for better because it's more people that can actually uh, be competitive. But hey, we know hitting your numbers is always the most important thing. How much can you learn from the seasoned data? Uh, you can see your weaknesses, you can see where your strong points are, and you can uh, adjust your training. The numbers helps help a lot uh, to adapt to training and to do the specific workouts. But the most important thing, in my opinion, is the understanding of when you are fit enough to do a proper training volume and when you're rested enough to do the proper training volume. and that is the one information that the numbers can't, are not really good in giving you and I don't strive for the numbers that others produce because sometimes they are unrealistic, sometimes the parameters are not calibrated, sometimes they are even, even underestimated and you need to take that into account and not stress too much about it but also rely on your personal feelings and feedbacks that your body gives you because at the end that's what counts. I try to change the training on a yearly basis because I think it's a good thing to try and change the stimulus, maybe just uh, little things to make it more interesting also for, uh, for the psychological aspect of it. Uh, my coach is uh, very precise and he gives me precise instructions on the workouts I need to do. It's also about the actual target power that you uh, need to hold for a specific uh, effort or workout. I think it's very good to simulate the racing situation in there like you, it's okay to target the power specifically and try to hold it as close to the goal as possible. But on the other hand, especially during the longer efforts, uh, it's also good to relax a little bit and to try and more or less hit the number, but also rely on your feeling because if you work hard in training and you do some most of the personal best normally in training, then yes, it's, it is sometimes possible to reach those numbers also in racing. Winter time, it's a good time to also work on the very basis of the training, like uh, cadence, uh, working to improve your pedaling efficiency, uh, strength training. It is the only time in the year when you have like two or three months to specifically work on something. And if you have a problem that's a very basic problem, like with a, with a bike fitting or with a cleat position or with a crank length or whatever, the winter is the only possible time when you can successfully make a change without hurting yourself. The only time you can also do maybe proper material testing. It's a lot of things that needs to be taken care of in a very short period of time. For the next year, I'm gonna get um, more weight on my shoulders uh, and carry more responsibility for a result in more races. So I need to target them more specifically. Tour of Flanders is the most special race in the calendar, if you ask me, because it's just a crazy atmosphere. Yeah, cycling is at home in Belgium and uh, yes, a race that I dream of winning one day. <laughs>